So as we know, Olympic gold medalist Caitlyn Jenner is running for governor of California. And something very interesting happened the other day where Caitlyn Jenner stated that boys and girls should not compete together. Biological boys and girls should not compete together in sports because it's unfair which prompted a very interesting line of questioning. Make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe button before you get into this video and click on my link fly, always linked at the top of the description box on my videos. Click on that and follow me at Young Manhood on my various social media platforms for diving into this story. The left has single-handedly destroyed women's sports, girls' sports with their unwillingness to accept reality for what it is. They do not want to accept the reality that boys and girls are different. This upsets them because it does not fit the leftist narrative. It doesn't fit it. And uh, the amount of gaslighting that comes from the left is so laughable. It's so laughable that they're not gonna have any rational people on the far left. There's not gonna be any rational people on that side. There have been a lot of moderate liberals that have been trans that have been becoming more and more conservative when they hear these outright lies. Because a biological man and a biological woman, they're not the same thing. There's differences. When it comes to physicality, there is no competition. The average man, the average woman, there is no competition. It's an unfair competition, period. And a rational person can accept that. A rational person, they're not gonna argue that. They're not gonna get in their feelings. They're not gonna get upset. They're not gonna say, oh my God, why'd, why'd, you, why, why'd you tell the truth? They're not gonna say none of that. They're just gonna be like, well, yeah. I mean, uh, look at him. Look at him and look at her. Are you serious? And see, the left, they want to ignore uh, simple biology. They want to ignore that men have testosterone at a much higher level than women do, which gives us an advantage. But not only the testosterone, there is also the physical development of a man, which is different from the physical development of a woman. And to say this to a far leftist is to uh, speak blasphemy, I guess, because that's how far from reality they have gone. But diving more into this story. So according to Daily Wire, former Olympic gold medalist Caitlyn Jenner says, biological boys should not be allowed to compete in girls sports because it's not fair. Totally agree. California gubernatorial candidate Caitlyn Jenner, meaning that she's running for governor and Olympic gold medal winning the decathlete who is now transgender said on Saturday that biological males who identify as transgenders should not be allowed to compete in girls sports because it is not fair. So a direct quote from Jenner, Jenner stated, this is a question of fairness. Jenner told TMZ when asked for reaction to legislation being passed in the states across the U.S. that banned biological males from competing against girls in school sports. That's why I oppose biological boys who are trans competing in girls sports in school. Which makes sense, which I figured that schools around the nation, they wouldn't, they wouldn't be that stupid for that long because it is so idiotic to intermingle boys in girls sports. It's so stupid to do this to teenagers and adults. If they're really, really small, that's a different case. Really, really young, that's a different case. But when we're talking about men and women, no, no, you're an idiot. 
So I figured that society would eventually reverse <laughs> reverse that sort of stuff or try to um, try to push against that sort of agenda because it's it's just going to result in um, women getting uh, men are going to have first, second, and third place. I'm going to just tell the truth on that. You start mingling. Women, women are gonna take L's all the time, like they've been doing when it comes to intermingling men and women in sports. That's what's been happening this whole time. When asked if those beliefs were delegitimizing to a person's gender identity, Jenner responded, we have a good day. Which I actually think that that's a fair question to ask it's a fair question to ask because one would think that Jenner, being that Jenner is transgender, that they would be willing to discuss whether or not uh, those beliefs were delegitimizing to a person's gender identity. <laughs> Uh, the person who asked that, they were definitely, they were definitely trying to, uh, trying to spark a conversation, trying to spark a whole another conversation that, uh, Caitlyn Jenner was not willing to have. Jenner tweeted out in a link to the interview writing, I didn't expect to get asked this on my Saturday morning coffee run, but I'm clear about where I stand. It's an issue of fairness. And we need to protect girls' sports in our schools, which I totally agree. Totally agree. No disagreement whatsoever. An advisor for Jenner told Axios that Jenner is socially liberal and fiscally conservative. Well, you cannot be... If you are not fiscally conservative, anything other than, than that, um, I can... I already anticipate... The economy is going to be in trouble whenever a person is not fiscally conservative. I, I just anticipate it's, it's about to be some uh, socialist agenda um, that's going to fail because we're in a capitalist society with an infrastructure that is entirely built upon capitalism. So Jenner said in a statement that California has been reduced because of Democrats effectively turning the state into a one-party rural state. Yep, I totally agree. Jenner slammed California Democrat Governor Gavin Newsom's over restrictive lockdown and noted the state's taxes are too high. Yes, this is Gavin Newsom's California where he orders us to stay at home but goes out to dinner with his lobbyist friends. True and true. But I'm curious what you guys think about this whole situation. Make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe button, and blessings to you.